Ooh, look at that. Holy Spirit is good. Uh, God is good. Okay. I remember, okay? <laughs> so, um, after the money changers, right? Uh, the Lord, uh, the verse goes into talking about um, uh, God speaking to the disciples, right? Um, and telling them a parable which they had forgotten, right? You know, went, uh, the, uh, out of sight, out of mind, right? They didn't know that they would remember this or this would come up, but it did, right? And when Jesus was flipping the tables and, you know, yelling at these Pharisees, right? For doing what they were doing, he told them, right? This is what he told them. He told them to destroy this temple, right? And in three days, I will raise it up, right? They thought he was talking about a physical building, right? But he was talking about his body, right? His physical body, right? Back then, right? So that's the foreshadowing of today because we are his body, right? What does it say uh, uh, about the two witnesses, right? At the end, what does it say about the two witnesses, right? That they will, uh, when they are, when they are overcome, right by the enemy and they and uh, they are laying dead in the street and the saints the bodies of the saints are laying dead in the street after three days god will raise us back up he will raise us back up right which we are the temple of god right we are his body he is the head we are the body right and each of us have a function When the Lord said, tear down this temple, and in three days, I will raise it up. It's also kind of like a foreshadowing to, how do I say this? Um, it's a foreshadowing of the process that the children of God will walk out okay it's a foreshadowing to that right because god says uh destroy this temple right which is my body his body us and in three days i will raise it up we all know a day uh, a day unto the lord is as a thousand years as a thousand years is to a day right so we don't know specifically how much time it means by three days right the important thing is the number three okay father the son and the holy spirit when we are baptized right and we are born again right we are dead with christ and we are risen with him so as we're walking through this process right the enemy is allowed to attack us he's allowed to try us in our faith, right? But he can't kill us. Remember, like Job? You can do anything to my son, but you cannot take his life, right? And it's the same thing with us. He can do anything to us, but he cannot touch our lives. He cannot touch our lives. He can slow us down. He can stall us. But it's only a delay. It'll always only be a delay. Because God's will will unfold. It will come forth. And it will come to pass. So, I just want to get back on here and tell you guys that. Because the Holy Spirit reminded me as soon as I got off here. Uh, but this is what God is doing. He's raising us up. Okay, yes, we know that. But some of us are at that point to where we're coming out of the secret place, right? It's our time to come out. It's our time to stand up. It's our time to shine. And then, as the seasons pass, as the seasons keep going, we'll sit back a little bit and let the next one's up, right? Like a, like a, look at it like a chessboard, 
right? Or when a uh, when when two armies go to war, right? You got the infantry, right? And then you got all the other uh, factions, right? Infantry goes in first, and so on. So be excited, be expectant. You have endured things that you didn't think that you could endure. Woo. Sorry, somebody's riding the bike. You're in a place where you didn't think that you can get to. As a matter of fact, you're not sure. You don't even know that you're in this place. You don't even know that you're in this place. But you're there. You're there. Everything you've done is not in vain. God did not start his work in you so that he could leave you where you're at. No. If he started it, he'll finish it. Have faith in that, okay? Holy Spirit's telling me for somebody. When that depression comes on, when that spirit of fear comes on, you rebuke it, okay? Anything that tries to exalt itself against the knowledge of God, you bring it under subjection. Because God is giving, giving us that authority. We have all authority to trample on scorpions and snakes, okay? In the name of Jesus. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. No weapon formed against us shall prosper in the might name of Jesus. Okay? So Holy Spirit is saying, when you guys get to that place, and I know sometimes it's hard to open your mouth. Okay? Sometimes it's hard to open your mouth. But you know, the good thing about it is you don't have to speak necessarily right you can think it too right but just know all is well with you everything is fine the Lord is about to surprise you with some things that you asked for and some things that you did not ask for and it will be enough for you and enough for you to share and bless other people with okay I love you guys um, and I will talk to you guys soon all right Romans 8, 28, for we all know that all things work together for the good of them that love God and those who are called according to his purpose. All right, talk to you guys later. Peace.